yeah. I'll transfer the winning person 50 quid. Do you want to see one of the most annoying customers we've ever had in the yard? I was just explaining you're the best customer we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Getting too old for this. Oh, you know, I thought that was going to be smoother than it was. Bob's your uncle. Cynthia's your aunt. That can't be real. Look at that. Stop. It's not loose. What are you doing? There's a lorry, Will. What are you looking at? Come on. You stood, stood next to the yard. You want to go to get some bolts, Will? <laughs> what? <laughs> Electric motors to a decent load, I'd give you 7.75. Tatters, 7.50. Like, like an educated guess. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not correct. That's like 500 pounds and more than drive right for a motor. That's your fault, Will, not mine. Yeah. If I you... say 7.75, I'm right always right talking. I'm Fuck always yeah. talking in tons, not like you know per kilo. You <laughs> idiot. So what did you mean, like seven to 75? I meant like 700 to 775 yeah, but you pounds. You didn't say that. Per you ton. just said. Yeah, but you've been here long enough now, Will, to not work it out. You can you can make the you can make you the. Said, you said. You said. You know what I mean. You could have made. You could you could have like had an educated guess. Or what's that thing that you've got on you all the time? My phone. Your phone, man. And you could have said, H, did you mean this or this? And I would have gone, Oh my God, Will, what a what a what crazy thing to say. What, I'll watch the lorries, Batman, I'll nut it. <laughs> so you know every Saturday when I send you the episode to just double Sometimes check Sometimes I'm busy, uh, and you send it me four hours before it's going out live. No, I don't. And you expect I send me it, to watch it. I send it the whole oh, day. Oh, don't start that one. Day before, you sent it to me ten minutes before I went to Rumbly. No, That's two no, hours gone. Then no. I'm going to go home, and I'm a busy guy. Sometimes I just can't really watch it before it goes out. You said it looks good. So I have to and rely on you. View. I have to I always put the check responsibility in William Ruff. Do my sleeves up, ready to roll, and you know what I mean? Anyway, listen, today, big episode, we have got over 100 metric tons of brake discs going out to export. Where are they going? No idea. Do I care? No. What I will say is I'm going to transfer £50 to the viewer then guesses it correctly to the 20th kilo, because that's how the bridge works. Total weight, five containers, roughly 27 tonne per, per container. So that narrows your guess down. However, if you, do, if you don't get it correct, you do not win. That is it. Yeah? And yeah. I'll transfer the winning person 50 quid. Just checking, you definitely mean 5-0 and not like five pounds. Listen, well, that was your fault, that was. <laughs> how long have you been here? You didn't even waste the thing yourself. Yeah. You made a battery the other day, so you know how the prices work, so that's on you. <laughs> so, for, it's not me saying the brake discs are worth 250 quid. Obviously not per disc, per ton of discs. You know what I mean, Will? Yes. I'm not apologising. You should apologise, it's no. your fault. No. That is the hook for this morning episode. We have five brake disc boxes going out, and as you guys have seen over the last few months, we have been stockpiling them. So I'm excited to see what's left in the bay afterwards because we have a further five boxes going out next week. But I can't wait to see that bay empty, clear, get this area tidied up because we did another 140 ton of motors yesterday. So we've got a few bits to clear up here. Also, what Lee pointed out, the container tilter, every time the full lorry reverses onto it to unload the box. It like knocks it back an inch, because I, re I realised yesterday that the container reverse was originally 10 foot further forward. So Lee, do you remember last night when you said the first job this morning was to pull it forward? You haven't done it. You said to me yesterday, first job in the morning, I'll get, I'll get the T-Rex and we'll pull it forward. No, we're going to do it after the first one. Uh, a real videographer would have bought a GoPro today to put on the... To put on the, uh, or just one of those little drones. Put on the grab or a drone. Or it's drone. That is a, it's, not it's that a GoPro. Is it? And then he would have had it all organised and ready. He's not used to it. He's not oh, used to this. Listen, is it just Harry? bully me day? Is that what it is? I said to Will, can you make sure you get here for seven because the first box arrives at seven. Twenty past seven, he rolls in, blaming the traffic, and I said to him. You can't blame the traffic rule because you come twice a week, yeah? That means you know the journey well. You should allocate time to, in case of traffic. Beat her only today, isn't he? Hey, He's not happy. Beat her only. He's not yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. He gets in, he stands in the office. Come on, then. Get your camera set up, let's go. Are you happy now, Will? Yes. Are you happy now? Yes. Well, it's raining and cold. The lens is getting wet. Oh, where is it wet? <laughs> oh, one of those. Should have bought a cover for your camera. Don't you have all the... No, none of the gear and no idea at the minute. Me, 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 me. Oh, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs>
That could be Tilly's first bike, that good. Nice pink one, Nitro on it. Do you know what I bought last week? When my dad bought his new bike, right? I bought myself a nice Harley Davidson t shirt and I got Tilly a little pink one. Daddy bought you an Harley Dave. I ended up onto his bill, didn't I? Yeah, I whacked them on the tab. Oh, that's really nice, Daddy's one. Get some diesel in. Oh, look at this. I don't know what to do first. I think I'll take the weight out of the middle. There's all the... Look, this, this, is how many, this is how many tons we have. We put the Ford bins there as a bit of a wall. It's pushed them out. I bet there's, a, I bet there's 250 ton there. Minimum. Two it doesn't look like zero. a lot, which is deceiving. 250. Pardon? Sorry, I'm just reassuring myself. Yeah, 250. Yeah, 0, yeah. zero, 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 zero kilos. Okay. 250,000 kilos. No. <laughs> yes. Hang on. No, 200. <laughs> you got me confused now. 250 ton. Yeah, hang on. 25. <laughs> I've actually, you've actually confused me now. Hang on. 250. No, it's just 250. Two, two, there's, no, there's no other zeros. I yeah, know. <laughs> This is, this is your fault, this is Will. I'm real confused. And it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to film B-roll. Can you just let me do it? B-roll this. Ah, oh, <laughs> disc. <laughs> nice, right. Here's a funny, here's a, here's a funny uh, thought. How many cars do you believe... Oh, I'll never be able to work this out. So this is a pointless question. <laughs> <laughs> but how many cars worth of discs do you reckon there are there? Like, what do they want? Booster, do you want to say you're one of the most annoying customers we've ever had in the yard? But I can't moan too much because he brings us some decent stuff. I was just explaining you're the best customer we've ever had. Yeah. I buy a poly wall this one today. I bring in my lorry. Yeah, bring it in. Uh, put the money transfer account, no? Yeah, yeah, whatever you want, mate. No, I don't know. <laughs> Why too much people here? This company is very good. This come here any day, no? Yeah, very good, mate. Why not open a door and place? Same like this one. <laughs> Because it's hard to find, Booster. It's hard to find. Two is better. One is your brother, one you. Yes, that's, that is the plan. But unfortunately, until we, until the everything goes through, it will not be happening. You buy it from the only store, it's better for you. Well, imagine, imagine. Yes. Thank you. I've known him 10 years, he's been banned 20 times. <laughs> twice a year, that's not bad. Yeah, no, honestly, I swear my life has banned twice a year. I need an umbrella. It's right, I need, yeah, you need an umbrella and I need to get the lorry in. Yeah. What's he waiting for? Oh, look at Mark's using his, his new lorry today, for the first time. Nice. You just go in your van because you're getting on my nerves, man. Huh? Taroni, I love Taroni. Very good morning, everyone. Getting too old for this. Too old. Come on, come on, that's it. Split round, that's way over shot. This is my LG BTQ Plus Banksman. Lovely drive, go on! Let your clutch out, let's go! Nice, straight in for once, a decent driver. Lee, down, what? Next one! Do the sides! So, break this, take about 15, 20 minutes to actually load. Not very long at all. Well, there's no inspector for one, so we take our own photos and add it to the tickets and send it to the exporter. And two, it's just a very simple item to load. There's no discrepancies with a brake disc is a brake disc. Like with the electric motors, you can get low grade, high grade, stuff like that. The inspector wants to see what sort of stuff they're having on. With the brake disc, it's just whacking in, take some photos, and then was happy. You know how to do the photos, don't you? What? You know how to do the photos, don't you? I'm only asking you. Come on. Gosh, I'll do it, I'll do it. Get me in it. Get me in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Really hard. <laughs> no, lift the clip. The you lift the clip. Oh, this. There we go, that's what you need. What, Lee? Some experience. Right then, take it empty. I've closed it now because you've got a shit phone. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's be more loaded loading. loading. Job. Yeah, right, right now. Stand and watch and just take photos. It's freezing today, Will. Right, that's our one, Will. Hopefully. Yeah? 
Kai Joy! Look at that. Look at that. One of five. Done. Finito. Second one's on the bridge, ready to rock and roll. The driver got her at eight, no, now no, nine. No, we He's can, uh... moaning, but he was booked in for nine, so what can you do? Now, now we've got a bit of space. We'll fly through them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the wind. Typically, it's Tuesday, and we've had about four Arctics land at the same time, all four containers land at the same time, and 30 Romanian vans land at the same time. Bit chock a blocker. Yeah, I'll give it, put it in the window. The, on that box, it says the tear is 28, 290, and we've got 28, 3 in. So we're all right? That'll be all right. What are you driving? 28, 3, it's yeah. only 10, 10 kilos. kilos. Yeah. 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 Driver's happy. Yeah, drive. Yeah. We're putting the sail on, Will. Drive, thank you very much. Oh, oh f hell, man. Harry, I did just tell you this. Well, well, eight, nine o'clock and eight o'clock are two different times, H. <laughs> he's on the bridge now. He's he's thinking, oh, I mean, I'll tell him to come the window. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the seven o'clock one. This one is a nine o'clock one. The eight o'clock one's outside. The nine o'clock thinks he's coming in, but the eight o'clock's coming in. So I'm going to send the nine o'clock to the window. <laughs> if you have to wait on here, yeah? Okay, good here. Yeah, just wait on here. You can keep warm. Okay, mate? You can keep warm, keep your hands warm, all nice, yeah? Have some lunch. No? So, we've done. <laughs> Whoa! You know, I thought that was a bit smoother than it was. Right, deceivingly, right, we've done 100 tonnes so far, which I probably shouldn't have said because the old bet at the start of the episode. So we've done somewhere in the region of 80 to 200 tonne. Anyway, we've done it, right? And I assumed, just visually, that all of this bay would be completely empty by now, but it's still halfway full, which is shocking because the discs are, I reckon we've got 400 tonne. Well, we had 400 tonne. No, that's it really, that's just, that's my update. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's good. We should make some art out of right, this. Do you, know how, oh, do you know what we should do? What? You know how Selfridges has the silver circles all around it? We should the whole building invite this. Keen. Keen. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> David! I like David, but he's very annoying. David, just, why are you rushing, man? Now you've blocked this wagon and the exit for those two vans. You're not loading anything today because okay. they're, they're, all, they're all sold. Have you heard about the hardest geezer? Yes. Have you heard of him? I've heard of him. Running the Africa? Yeah. It's one whole year. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. I think he finished the race yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he finished it. Yeah, yeah. But I keep wondering how he get to go through the Sahara Desert. It's horrible there. He just ran. Expecting you to be the next. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. Next, I'm, next I'm, I'm too handsome. I'll get kidnapped. No. I would, man. He got kidnapped. Really? Yeah. yeah. But they left him. He had to pay. But if he moves, here, don't come back down. We want to get in. Ah, that's a fellow Oreo. I've got to order some of them sandwiches, man. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Like, like them big cheese. Pirafino? Is that what it is? You want a wrap? Yeah, box number four of five going out now. I'll just order Lee a wrap. Is it because he's been out in the cold? Yeah. I have as well. You're showing for the wedding, though. Yeah, well, that's protein. It's lovely. Can you order me one? Draw one. <laughs> They're like nine quid each one. They are. Stop moaning. I'm not moaning at you, mate. Did I order myself one? No. Right then, copper markets. This week is still very high. We have a special on, and the special for the next seven days is the following. New tube copper, £6.65 a kilo. Delivered in, paid the same day. Bob's your uncle, Cynthia's your aunt. Enrique is your nephew. <laughs> Led, what was all this price was? Texture. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm prepared and sent you all these things. FYI, your rack was just left. Woohoo! Ah, one pound forty-five a kilo, which is not one hundred and forty-five pound a kilo. One pound forty-five will, which is one thousand four hundred and fifty pounds per ton for your old scrap lead. That is another price of the week for the next seven days. How thrilling! Thrilling, right? Thrilling. Fantastic. Yeah. Come on, come at me up. What's the difference for copper one and copper two? Number one burnt copper is, we would say, pencil length thick. And then number two is thinner, like hair. Basically it. That is John 
Gilmore 7, no, 9971. Why did you say that with an accent? Because it sounds like a Gilmore accent, doesn't it? <laughs> you have to like say it in an accent. <laughs> Electric motor, 775 a kilo. Yeah, Will, you see, you're, you made me look stupid. No. Yes. I just typed what you said. Matthew RW8KK. Hey, I operate a scrap metal yard in Australia. Australia. Keen for any info you have on your non-ferrous scales. Love the videos. Keep rolling. I want all the info in the accent. I don't know what info he wants, though. You put, you put stuff down on the barbie, <laughs> and it tells you what it weighs. Scrap info. He wants to know about the scales. The scales? They weigh stuff. What, what are the info you need? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know. Maybe. Because scales weigh with gravity, and obviously Australia's upside down, like, how do they weigh stuff? <laughs> Listen, Matt, I know you're down under in that, but just be more specific, mate, because uh, scales weigh things. Rich Ra, 9590. Do any places buy lithium ion batteries or is it paid for free collection service companies in the UK? Uh, don't know the answer to that. We have to pay to get rid of them and uh, disposal charges, but I don't know anyone that actually does the collection and things like this. Uh, Roy Jennison, 3916. Question How many languages can Harry speak? I tell you what I can speak. I can speak broken English Romanian, which is a very, very, I'm very fluent at it. And basically, it's just English, right? Very slowed down and very blunt. So if Will was to video me actually like having an argument with a Romanian customer, for example, it comes across like I'm being very rude. The years of dealing with them, it's like the only way to actually get a point across is to be very, very blunt and sharp. You are also fluent in I'm fluent in chat yeah. Yeah. Hadiki, UPVC is <laughs> it's not worth more than steel. Ha ha, the market is for it. One day it's 400 a ton, and the next morning it's £10 a ton. They want it for the recycled plastic, but UPVC also has an inner structure of alley for rigidity. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for the info. I've also never known anyone read ha ha in such a non ha ha way. Ha ha ha. Jason Alexander, do you have a price category for three plug pins? Uh, we just whack them in the Arnie Alley. I think you can get more for that if you have decent weight, but we're not that, you know, bothered. Top Gun at 6025. Let me touch on the racist comment. He didn't he didn't say anything about colour race reasons. He said non taxpayers. So basically, you know, as I do, they get the cash, don't pay nothing back into the country. We use our hospitals, etc., where, as me, collect scrap, then has to declare my earnings. Who, who gets what cash and who are you talking about? So the, the original comment said they wanted English and not Eastern, so that's the racist part. Because it was All of our customers are paid by a bank transfer. You know, bank details go on the system along with their ID, so what they do with the money afterwards is up to them. I was paid 43p a kilo on batteries two weeks ago. Your prices are loads better from Scoop 6 winner. Thank you very much. We are on 55p a kilo for the orders that we are fulfilling at the moment. It might drop very slightly, like £10 a tonne, purely down to the fact that the transport cost has doubled, right? It used to cost us 300 odd quid to get it up to a where we sell it, now it's literally doubled to £600. Our transport cost is £25 per tonne, that's how you work it out, a 24 tonne load. So, uh, foreigner making money. Hey, you should message that bloke earlier about <laughs> his comments. A waste transfer note is document uh, which must accompany every movement of inner and non-hazardous waste. It is a legal requirement to keep copies of all waste transfer notes for a minimum of two years. A hazardous waste consignment note, HWCN, is the document required for movement of hazardous waste, which is correct. All of those were correct. For example, we have to do a consignment note, not a waste transfer note for all of the batteries that we move. And on a waste transfer note, you have to like put the uh, supplier, the transport, the, the end destination, loads more info on it. And then there's a lot more uh, protocol when that item then goes to the waste transfer station. It has to be exactly what it says on the ticket, all that sort of stuff. There's lots to it. You should have had that guy sit your first two whammer tabs. Listen, mate, that, the, whole, the whole syllabus has changed. Listen to this, right? So I'm doing the ELV section on the whammer tab, and one of the, one of the questions was something like, to accept a scrap car, what do you need? So obviously in my head I'm thinking, well, you need, the, you need the, the V5, you need a copy of the ID, bank card, right? I swear down, one of the options on the multiple choice was, do you need to know the colour and the engine? But surely if you're buying the car and it's in front of you, so you know what the colour is. So why would you need to, like, ridiculous questions? I was told that a company has took over Wamatab and have changed the syllabus to make it harder because they want more people to fail for more money. Simple as that. Also, not revising, Tony, I'm thinking I'll pass it first time, didn't help. <laughs> uh, 
okay. Can you go out there and get the container bloke out? Because I can't do it. Why? Well, I thought you were number one, Lee. I am. No, I'll, 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 I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. Yeah, I want to move it all inside because I've got this Arctic on. It's not hard, it's just like, excuse me, mate. Back in that gap for me. Needs a steady head and uh, the ability to forward plan. That's what it needs. Let's go straight in there, mate, for me. Lovely. There you are. Just, just, you know, do a left. Just go straight. Oh, where are you going now? <laughs> oh! Just move your crane down the yard for me, mate. That's took me 45 seconds. Naz, Naz. Huh? Oh, that car's still parked in the middle. If you don't mind, mate, if you, if you pull inside. Pull inside. Pull inside for me, because I want to back this one up out of the way then, and then everyone, it'll be a bit more free then for everyone. You know what I mean? Think on. I've never seen you so polite. I think it's because Well, that's wrong. how you get things done, you see. If you talk to people like idiots, they won't do it. If someone told me to move your band, you wouldn't do it, would you? No. That's it. Knees extended, back straight in now, clip on, out the yard in the next three minutes. Mark straight up there, tip off, Sean way over. Done. Right drive, come on. Here you are, lower it down. Yeah, lower it down, Lou. You know what I mean? Listen, we have tried your way, it doesn't work. <laughs> you lower it down. Wait, wait for, to, wait for the noises to stop. No more. Look at that. Can't reach, like. Can't you reach? Oh. My hands, my hands. Oh. I know what you mean now, your hands are colder than metal. <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Four wagons outside. Right then, no fifth box. I'm just chased where it is. Yes, please. Thank you. Top man. Nice. Look at this. Yeah, but look what I've done today to get a f***ing wrap. <laughs> Thanks for treating us, boss, when we've been out in the cold. Right then. Can you point out how much of a nicer day it is today? Yeah, a couple of things. It's a lovely day. Who's that? Sean, are you free from that? All right, Chris. That can't be real. Chris, that can't be a real light. All you're doing here is on that, you're checking that it's loose. It's secure, it's secure in the older. I'm sure you checked on that, yeah? We doing that, we doing that. Check it, it's not, it's not loose, yeah? There we go. And you do a visual check on the wheel nuts, make sure the marks are all intact. You do a visual check on the side wall, that's why I picked that up there. Yeah. Yeah? And then what you do then is, a bit hammer. You can tell the door, you okay. Yeah? And the tone of the hammer tells you everything. Tone of the hammer, I've heard that before. Tone of the hammer. Yep. New day, woke up. Oh, auto iron is going out in the box today. Fantastic. Let's weigh it up and tip it out, ready to go. We have a new level for it, it's very good. This is a trial load for a new customer. So I'm hoping that if it goes well, auto iron, we could be paying up to like, well, I'm hoping like the 550, 560 mark, which is uh, great because I don't think we'll be able to up the volume on it, get small boxes out. I want to be doing 10 boxes a day. That's the dream. Do we have space for that? No. But it's what I want to do. This is why I'd love to have a second yard, if it comes off, for the export. Nice bays, get a new container tilter on wheels, doo -doo 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 -doo, wheel up and down, and open this up for basically just a pure sight, just for tatters, getting it all off. That's the dream rule. That's the dream. Also, I have my hair cut, looking fresh. I know, right? The discs are still there. What are you pointing the disc for? Well, the fact that you had four boxes, the fifth one didn't turn up, and the bay looks pretty much the same. It's not touched it. I know. I, I thought we were. So I bought five. I bought five, how many boxes. I bought five boxes in front of the other day, right? Assuming that this bay would be empty, okay? And then I thought, right, well, just in case I'm a bit short, on the next, I sold like 250 ton or whatever it was. I thought I'll book the next five in for next week, yeah? I've done 100 ton out of that. There's still 100 ton of the bay. I reckon I had 400 ton of this. Chris Hammers, the drivers, is brilliant, brilliant. Literally. Make sure, make sure all of our fleet is tip top. Once a week or once every other week, he comes around. Just makes sure all of the wagons uh, are like fully operational, safe, tidy. Because we want to have a clean fleet, and we get a truck professionally validated once a week and on a rotor. We want to keep on top of them. We got nice kit. I mean, the new one I actually got the price wrong. Well, sort of. It was £220,000, the new lorry was, the, the, the new Scania, the supermodel. Two hundred and twenty grand. So when you're spending that sort of money on some kit, obviously you want to keep it for a few years. 
I want to keep on top of it, make sure you've got nice, clean wagons to drive around, because some of the companies that we see operating in the Birmingham and the Midland area, they drive around, and our Vosa don't pull the wagons over. Is that, anyway, why, you, is that why you get a haircut so much? Yeah, because I'm like that. I just want to keep myself tipped up. Yeah. I'm very well. So what else is going on? We've got the auto going out. We've put four more boxes in for next week on the electric motors. That's 100 tonne going out. That means this week for a decent full merchant load. Oh, God, what am I going to say here now? If you've got 10 tonne plus, quality depending between 810 and 820. How about that? Yeah. Still price that is. Same day payment. Hello, Steve. That's Have you brought you the blade changing? He's going back to me when he can get into the mob with his son, yeah. Yeah, again, like I say, keeping on top of the fleet, not just the lorries, the shear, the blades, because we're doing a thousand ton of one or two a week. We have to change the blades more frequently, and they're being booked in for a Sunday, so it uh, limits our downtime. We don't want to lose a day's processing. Um, other than that, everything is running smoothly at the moment, so fingers crossed it stays that way. Oh, did I tell you the difference on the auto ironing to a steel engine? So, do you want to know what it is? I do. So, the difference between Auto Iny Alley and steel engines. There is three grades of engines. One is stripped steel engines, which is worth, depending on who you sell to, unless they've got like an actual reason to have them, uh, basically just shearing, right? If you have complete steel engines, which should have a steel block, alley top, alley bottom, and even some accessories like the starter motor and that, depending on how strict your buyer is, uh, they are worth £375 a tonne. Your auto irony, which is an alley block in the centre, like this one, that is an aluminium block, alley top, alley bottom. That is, and it's, this one's got a starter on it, so this one's actually fantastic. This is the best one you can get. Other than that, you've got your gearboxes, which are alley. The ratio of steel in it is what makes it worth, like, you know, your five, 550 a ton sort of, sort of figure. It's a good idea to actually go through your engines. I think because they're such a heavy item, quite quickly you can find the difference between a few tonne and then you're earning yourself an extra few hundred pound a tonne. There you are. You know what they're doing? Yo! Whoa! Whoa! Don't chuck it there. Don't chuck it there. Over there. Oi! What are you doing? We're not Tesco, you can't just walk around. You are. Endorsing my friend. Oh, you're giving it to your yeah. I'm not selling it. No for sale. All different. No money. There's a con in there somewhere. There's a con in there somewhere, Will. I am driving the Terex. I'm pushing Come it. on. I'll damage something. No, you won't. I'll damage something, man. Come on, get the Terex. This I'll is get, what, uh... what the viewers want to see. They don't want to see me just damage my own stuff. Well, you won't. You just need to push I'm not something. Not enough to drive that. Put me in a car and I'll do it. I'm the UK's best crane driver. Oh, you? Yeah. I, I won it. Uh, I won the HW Trolley Metal Crane Championships 12 years in a row. <laughs> it's internationally recognised and acclaimed. Is it? Yeah. We'll come back down now. So you will. We'll come back down. Move them. Also, household cables are a good price at the minute. £2.40 a kilo. Wow. Yeah, really good. Really fantastic price, that is. It is. So if you're an electrician in the area and you've got a load of cable and you want to get top whack for it, I had a selfie with an Irish boy yesterday. Did you? I did, yeah. Wow. Came in here, watched channel. My son wants to see you. <laughs> yeah, it was bizarre. <laughs> it was. I don't, I don't, not comfortable with it. I thought you could drive the Terex. <laughs> Number five in the queue. For what? Description. Blue pills? No, don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Stu. Now it's outside, so you can see how big it is. Yeah. What is it, Rich? Say again, it's a lorry, Will. Yeah, what, what is it? It's a lorry. Yeah, but that's what? A lorry and trailer, that's a trailer. Yeah, but specifically, what is it? It's an arm lift, sorry. It's a fast one. It's a high up. Eh? It's our new lorry, it's uh, an arm lift, so we can fetch machinery and anything that needs lifting. That's it called a high up. It's a high up, it's an arm lift, it's um, Stand. That will lift 11 tonnes, so hopefully there's not much we can't lift now. I have no idea. No, not <laughs> first things yeah. first, we need to measure it to see. First thing, yeah, we see if it'll even go on there, which I don't think it will. Um, no. It hasn't got a retractable. No, no, on a lot of these, they go in, but that's fixed. How is it? Yeah, it's welded on the front. Yeah, yeah. well, you know how often you're going to need the trailer? I oh, know, you do. That's going to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, how often you're going to need it? It's going to be once, it's got few and far between. All right. Well, it's true. Let me go and have a word. I'll be two minutes, mate. All right. Phil, is there a gateway clear, mate? Yeah, mate, don't worry and about it. That's it, really. Yeah. Now I need to do your job. Why? Because Between you come out and went, we got a truck. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get the trailer on the back. 
<laughs> well, Richard's supposed to do this, so as you can see, we have a new addition to our fleet. We've got ourselves a MAN TGS, 26 ton flatbed with an arm lift on it and a 16 ton trailer, all for our machine moving projects. I think it'll be a good addition to the, uh, to the fleet and enable us to do a lot of work that we couldn't do previously. Introduce the truck. You know what you're I've told the whole world what it is. Lovely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know he is with you. You need to know. Uh, what's happening there? You're not trying to be either. You need to know. <laughs> Mark, you, you just just face Mark in there, yeah? Oh. Drive, Stu. Yeah. Plan B, mate. Take the trailer to storage. Take the trailer to storage. Yeah. Where's storage? Storage yard. Oh. <laughs> I'm lift too, we're falling out, aren't we? <laughs> I'm lift too. No, yeah. look, no, just, uh, just by on the way back. Hey, we're only going to use the trailer, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, well. It's the I'll, arm lift that we want and the flatbed. I'll try and find someone back to lift up. Uh, any container jobs? We need some chains to lift stuff with. Yeah, i got some around there. Let's go and get them. I, need, need I, to put up? I can't drive off and then you ring me up and go, can you pick your up when the yeah. chains are in the office? Have you got, <laughs> have you got anywhere <laughs> to put them? Yeah, you, we've got all the storage lockers. Can't, no, I'll get them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't even need to be here. You open it. There we go, lovely new bit of kit. Yeah. Somebody arm. Apparently, right, Rich was saying a new one of them wagons with an arm on it is like 200, 300,000 quid. So it was Eid yesterday, so happy Eid to everybody. And we had no queue all day long. No queue. We were quite upset. And then all of a sudden, no Eid, big queue. So, uh, Inspector, the box has arrived for the auto ironing, waiting for our inspector. What are you doing, Phil? What? <laughs> Blending in. Yeah, mate. Brand new sheet. Sheet of the merchandise. Yeah, yeah and then you can get to the cash. Oh, oh, mate. We've got to do that. Having it changed in the cash. Yeah, well, when he goes back into his little new Lola, I'll get him to do it. Oh, but couldn't you have got this and I've got the box? Yeah, round in the side. I thought you were strong. Round in the side, please. Come on. All right. <sighs> Don't be a <laughs> I'll see you later, mate. Nice one. Oh. Huh? That was an elbow, that was. Who do you think you are? <laughs> George St. Pierre. So there she goes. Need to get some work for it. Oh, it's re reminiscent of one of the first episodes. Oh, Which sat outside there. What are you looking at? Cameras. Be stood, stood next to the yard. I can walk around the whole yard in two minutes. Right. Good, there you go. <laughs> yep, film and drive off then we'll come on, do some work. Everyone, everyone thought that you'd uh, retired because you're not on camera anymore. Just very busy. I didn't retire. No, I mean like retired from just you moved oh, to really? Bali or something. What a truck. Awesome. You could put that money towards a shredder or something. It was cheap. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean it, that doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> what? Number one. Oh, you that. You've got a big. Right. You've got a big mouth for a little bloke, haven't you? Richard's had to come and show you. I thought your wagon was turning over then. It's just you moaning. This should be that device, shouldn't it? Who? Right. These in the yard. See you, Stan. See you in half an hour. Hello, darling. Um. Look, you want to go to get some bolts, Will? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you want to go to get some bolts? Well, that's what you said, the next plan. Yeah. Show me a lorry and do some bolts. So I'm asking you, do you want to go get the bolts? Yeah. Right, I'll get my car key and we'll go, OK? Yeah? Yeah, I mean, don't, please, put your sharp object down. <laughs> do you want to go and get some bolts? How Will, are you in control? Control. You sure? <laughs> What's that gate say, Phil? So what's yeah, that guy say? Yeah, look. Well, you're doing a <laughs> job, mate. Look. I'm going to leave you with Rich to get the bolts, and he can try and draw him out of his shell. The name is Ricky T. Ricky, Ricky T. Harry, look after the yard. I'm going to go and buy some bolts to okay, go for the machine. Oh, Rich, don't be long. I can't cope without you. Uh, you you come can't. On, Harry. Uh, come on, Harry, out of the way, Harry. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Lads, I got my inspiration from the Scrap Kings. They've set up the Carboon Kings. Guys, you've got to watch the Carboon Kings. It's all come from these lads. It's going to be on TV, aired Tuesday, the 16th of April, Channel 4, 11pm. 
I just I follow these. They are the real kings. But I'm the car boot king. Best hour of your life. Watch it, and your missus will be wetter than our sponsor's pockets. <laughs> yep, make sure you tune in and watch it. Absolutely brilliant program. Colin, let's go then, Will. Oh, right, Phil. <laughs> Come on, Will, into the passion wagon. No, the passion wagon's over there. No, this is the passion wagon. No, wagon. Get, look, look, look at the passion wagon. What? Is that scrap Astra? It's not a scrap Astra. <laughs> that is the disaster. <laughs> Have you seen what I've done to it? It's got a light bar, it's got... Has it? Yeah. No, it's only just begun. Tints the light bar. You changed the alloys. Bar. Plates on it. Yeah, alloys lowered, wrapped. It's going to have the lot. Do you love it? Love it. I might, um, I might get one. I would. <laughs> no good. No good. Maybe Halford can have them. I doubt it. Where did you go? Oh, cars, really. I don't know, maybe that's an order or something. Mm. Go on then, I'll sort it. I'll see you shortly. Well, that was a successful trip. Went to one place. They didn't have them. One place, didn't have them. So you're giving up? No, I'm just going to order them. So I was trying to be clever, go local. But they are specially, so... I'll order these, delivered by... Well, we did by tomorrow or Friday. And um, we're ready to go. Got a blade change booked in next week. Keep it on top of the machine, keeping it well maintained. And it will last forever that way. It's the only way to do it. Nice. We've been out the office literally five minutes. Look at the queue. <laughs> I've just sold two more boxes. So I've got three weeks to buy 54 ton in. A bit hard. Nah, not for me it won't. I've also got three weeks to buy 75 ton of stars and alternators. You've got one though, don't you? Phil's doing green, over. Phil, let's do some dancing in there. <laughs> there we go, there's the auto winding gun. I'm just emailing. A new customer, uh, so I've just sold a further two loads of auto winding alley. Um, so from today onwards until the end of the month, what's the date say? It's 11th until the 30th, uh, 500 and uh, for 550 to 570 pounds a ton, depending on the uh, weight on the on the load, lads. Um, guys and girls, get it in. Auto ironing, engine blocks, gearboxes, all that sort of stuff. Engine and gearboxes, 550 to 570 pound a ton. Also, starters and alternators. Anything, depending on the weight and how quickly I can fill these boxes up, I can pay you 1150 to 1200 pound a ton. Uh, so get them in, get them in quick, because once these boxes are full, I can't offer those prices out again until I've made a new sale. So yeah, Will, did you get some nice footage of the uh, drone and of it being loady loady? Drone was lovely. Rich's segment was a, uh... wow, just rich. It's nice though, that's a nice end to the episode that is. I've just had a nice deal. 
And uh, the box is going out. Rich is back in, the, back in the game. Can't really moan at that. It's been a nice little... And the sun's out. Summer yeah. is coming, and I'm well up for it. I'm buzzing. So there we go. Just got to let that sink in. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you guys on that note, and I'll see you guys on the next episode, which will be next Sunday at 5 o'clock. So, yeah, guys, get your metal in. Uh, we will give you the best prices, best service we can with a smile on our face, unless you round me up, then you won't get that. But until then, see you on the... Uh, well, see you on the tatting side, do you know what I mean? Bosh! No, no, no. <laughs> oh, f***ing hell, you're off. I'm sorry. I have to be like, you're too old. You're too old. Right, sorry, I'm ready then. James will say a bit about it. Got him. All right, I'm going to buy some bolts. Please look after the yard. I'm leaving nice and organised. When I get back, I want it the same way. Just <laughs> like, open the window or something then. You're going to give me some warning. Sorry, I'll, I'll start again, that? really. It's a f***ing bolt, isn't it? Oh, it does. Really, start again. Right, really, Harry? Harry, you ready or what? I, I've not got all day for this. I'm f***ing waiting at the window. Sorry, right, let me talk to you then. Right. Harry, I'm going to get some bolts. So when I come back up the yard, nice and organised like this, OK? What? I'm going to get some bolts now, so please, look after the yard. That looks like a truncheon, that does. That is a... What, you and Gordon will be doing in your car with that? <laughs> if you were a bolt, you'd be that. <laughs> Mine's short and fat, yours is lump and skinny. Right, look after the yard, I'll, I'll back in half an hour. Come on, James, oh, needs to do something with me. Well, you can't just he say that. Yeah, but he needs to, like, charge you out the way and then come and say... Oh, JT, it's your time to shine, mate. Time to shine. It's your time to shine. <laughs> that really is. So do that bit again, then oh, you speak to him out the window, and then James needs to like barge you out of the way and say, next Tiny. Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. Right. Tiny, really? Yeah.